Hey babes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you all are having a really great week. There is no better combination than shopping for spring and summer clothes at Aritzia. Aritzia always gives me those timeless, chic, elevated looks that, well, I mean, I always go for, but it just like hits different in the summertime. Give me white, give me linen, give me flowy, lightweight pieces, you know? So needless to say, I'm beyond excited to share with you all this Aritzia haul and all of the pieces that I got, they're gonna help me achieve that look for this summer. So keep on watching if you want to see everything that it got and what it all looks like on someone who is petite and 5'1 like me. So starting with tops, I pretty much just got all tank tops. The first one that I got is from the Sculpt Knit line. This one in particular is the Racerback style. Hands down, this is one of my favorite styles from that collection. I find this style to be so flattering. It's a little bit longer of a crop. It hits in a really good spot and I like the cutout of the arms too. It kind of like comes in a little bit and the armholes don't go too low either. This sort of fabric, if you guys don't know like the Knit Sculpt fabric, it is like this thick, single layered ribbed fabric that is really stretchy, yet it still offers like good compression. So that's no problem not wearing a bra with like this sort of fabric. I always size up one size in this collection too. So my go-to size is an extra small. It just runs like a little bit smaller. Since I already have this in a few colors, my newest addition is like this dark navy color. I've been really getting into navy this season. And I surprisingly don't have a lot of blue in in my wardrobe currently too. So this was a very nice addition. They also recently just came out with a ton of like tube tops or bandeau tops. And clearly I am very much into it. So I got two different styles and a couple of different colors too. So starting off with a rib cage option, this is essentially just like a bandeau sort of top. I got it in the charcoal color, but also in white too. Similar to the Sculpt Knit, I find that this fabric, this is from the contour line, runs really like snug and tight. So I always size up in this too and go with a size extra small. The contour fabric is like this thick, double layered, smoothing effect type of fabric. I really want like a white bandeau top, but even with it being like a double layered fabric, I found the white to be like a tad see-through, unfortunately. So I would honestly recommend going with the darker colors in this. But on me, this is nice and snug. It's not one that I have to pull at at all. So that's really great. It feels really tight, like around my underbust too. So I I am here for these. This is just one of my favorite tops that I love to wear out, either pairing it with like a leather jacket or a blazer over top. Like it just looks perfection, but can obviously be worn very easily during the day too. I wear these all the time in the summertime. I just feel like it is like the most flattering neckline. I like something that is straight cut all the way across. So if you don't want the bandeau option, they do have it in one that is a waist length option. So it's a little bit longer, it is tuckable, and it is the same fabric and fit as the other one too. Basics, 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 guys. That's like my go-to thing to get out of Ritzia. And I just love that all of their basics are really affordable too. I think that these are like 20, 25 bucks and they just hold up so incredibly well. I have them for years and years and years. So the Ritzia ribbed cropped like racer back is one of my all time favorite tank tops. You guys see me wear them all the time. I have them in probably like 10 different colors but they came out with it, yes, in a longer version. I've already been wearing this one. So this one is waist length. It's really easy to tuck into. And with me having to return back to the office, I wanted more options that weren't crops, that were more like work appropriate. And I love that this one doesn't show my stomach at all. I can tuck it in, but I can easily throw like a cardigan, a blazer, a lightweight jacket or something over top of it and wear it to the office. Cause we all know offices have AC. So it's not like I'm just gonna be wearing this tank top around, right? And then obviously just great for the summertime, going on vacation, wearing daily, like anything like that. I also weirdly find like the top of this, like the chest area and the armholes to fit like more snug and tighter than the cropped version of this. So it was a nice like surprise, but I am obsessed. You guys need the staple. I get it in a size extra extra small. I get all of like these T and A ribbed tops in that size. And then I also got this tank top too. I liked it cause it 
look like one that wasn't as like simple as the last one like a little bit more elevated but still definitely very casual so it's a cropped v-neck tank it also has like this little satin little dainty bow right here in the center and then it also has like this scalloped edge too nice little dainty spaghetti straps I ended up getting this in a size extra extra small which like I said is my typical like size when I get these sort of tanks I found it to be like really tight and hard to get on but once it was on it was just fine so I'm kind of debating wanting to try it in extra small just so it's easier to get like on and off you know but it's super nice elevated basic for the summertime and again it's super affordable too so I was really looking to add some new blazers to my wardrobe to keep it up to date for when I return back to the office blazers have just been like my go-to for the past couple of months I don't know where I've been and why I have been holding out on the blazer game but that has just completely changed and Aritzia has some amazing blazers too like the quality of these are very very impressive so I was excited to get like a couple of different styles to try out and also just quickly to mention the fabric of both of these is exactly the same so it's Aritzia's crepette fabric which is a fabric that has some really good weight to it but it also has like this very subtle texture to it and then it just like hangs and flows very nicely so starting off with like this first one this is the destiny blazer and as you can see it is a double breasted blazer it has like these ever so slight shoulder pads which I like that it's not like too thick and too bulky but I feel like the double breasted this might be different for other people but to me it gives me like this slightly more casual vibe compared to like a single breasted blazer and the fact that this gives like a slightly oversized look to it too which is like pairs really nicely together this is an absolute wardrobe staple the inside of it is completely lined the quality of this is just so impeccable you guys in this color top notch it is the matte pro color and I have some trousers in this color too that I paired with it but it's a really good neutral color without being like white that's gonna look really good with jeans too oh I love it it just is such a well-fitting blazer it fits well on the shoulders but it definitely is like longer right and a little bit more oversized on me even with going with the double zero but that's the look I'm going for I like one that is a little bit more oversized so if you are the same like frame as me and you you wanted one that was like a little bit more fitted I don't think that this would be the one for you and the other blazer that I got this is the generation blazer and can we just talk about this color first and foremost it is so hard to get like the perfect camel colored blazer ah oh, I knew Aritzia would have it like this color is so gorgeous it looks great against the skin tone and it pairs so well with so many different like colors like jeans you name it so I'm so thrilled for this but unlike the other one this is a single breasted blazer it has the same like very light shoulder pads to it fully lined on the inside and then it also has like a back vent too the other one did as well the fit of this one like in the shoulders is pretty identical like it fits so well on the shoulders the sleeves are like the same length they're a little bit long and just like the overall length is a little long too so these sort of blazers just given the length and my height I don't think I can wear like flats and sneakers with these blazers I would have to wear like more like heels and booties with it just to even out the proportions a little bit better but whenever I go into the office, I nine times out of 10 always wear like booties. So it's perfect for my wardrobe and blazers are just the easiest way to elevate any outfit. Just throw a blazer over top and you look so good. I also picked up a slip mini skirt. So it's like this satin flowy mini skirt. This one is also machine washable, which I really, really like. It is a pull on skirt. There's no zipper on it and it has like an elastic stretchy waistband, which I actually prefer because having an elastic waist, it makes it so it's tight in the waist and so it won't gape. Unlike if you had like a zipper, you know? With a mini skirt, I thought it'd be a really easy way to elevate a day outfit, but obviously would look really great at night. However you want to pair it. I did find this slip skirt to be like a tad long so during the try on I actually rolled it in just once to make it what is that like an inch shorter and I feel like that did the trick but this seems really great quality and again I like that it has it in more colors too so if you wanted like a lighter color that pairs better during the day or having like a matte pearl like full outfit I really like that color from Aritzia that would look really sleek too I am so excited to share these shorts with you <sighs> these are like my ideal 
fitting trouser short. I think I found them. I shared a really good pair in my Reformation haul. Those ones are like a little bit baggier, a little bit looser. These ones are like that perfect middle ground between being like too tight, but not too loose either. And it also is a different fabric too. Both of these are compared to the Reformation one. So definitely go watch my Reformation try on haul because there's another really great option there. But these, oh my God. So I ended up getting these in two different colors, different from the Reformation colors, just to have like more options. So this first one, this is the pleated shorts. The pleated pants is one of my favorite pants that I'm actually gonna be sharing a little bit later. I have so many of those, but they came out with it in a short version and I bought these so fast. So this is in the Crepet fabric that I was mentioning earlier, that's the same fabric that the blazers are made out of. I think that they also have this in a couple of different fabrics, like a, a more like heavier wool sort of fabric. But they also have them in linen that I'll share in a second, but a really nice flowy sort of fabric. I think it's gonna be perfect for the summertime because it's not like fully lined like the blazers are. So it eliminates like a little bit of weight to it, but it has some really nice pleating in the front. It is a three inch inseam, perfect for petites. I love the belt loops on it. The back of it has these faux pockets on it too, but I ended up sizing up in this to a size zero because I just wanted like a little bit more room. I didn't want them to be like too snug, you know? So you can see that they're a little bit looser throughout the waist, but I'm fine with that. And then what you can also see is I got it in that same dark navy color that I got the first top in. So I plan on wearing this as like a matching set. I'm here for matching sets. Just like how I like it with my workout gear, I also like it with like just my day-to-day -day clothes too. And then I also ended up getting them in linen. Oh my God. I have been on the hunt for like the perfect linen shorts and I'm so, so, so happy about these. I got them in exact same size to a zero, which I honestly wasn't expecting because just like a side note about Aritzia's linen, it usually runs like a little bit more snug and tight. I usually have to size up in this compared to like a different fabric, but I didn't have to do that in these shorts. It still fits like a little bit loose in the waist, but all of the details about this is exactly the same as the other shorts. So it has like the pleat details in the front, still has the belt loops, it still has the faux pockets in the back, and it is still a three inch inseam. But man, this is such a nice linen. It is really, really soft. It is, I would say like a smidge see-through, but not at the same time because this fabric is really unique. It's kind of like has this satiny feeling on the inside. So it's like so smooth against your skin. So I would just make sure you're pairing like skin colored underwear with it and you wouldn't have a problem at all, but man, I am obsessed. I also picked up two dresses. This is in the same style. I just got both black and white. So this is like a mini dress. And what I really like about it is it's like this gauze-like material. So it's really lightweight. It's gonna be perfect for those like really hot summer days. But it is also like a semi-sheer material, especially in the white. So I see this being like that perfect dress to bring on a tropical beach vacation when you are going between like the beach and the pool and just like walking and wandering around. It's like that perfect cover up to throw on over your bathing suit, but you still like look really put together too. I find the fit of it really flattering. This neckline has a double scoop in the front and the back. The armholes are a little bit lower, but it is also like a mini dress. So it's really great for petites, but maybe not the best for my tall girlies. I got both of these in a size extra extra small and I am here for it. I feel like I kind of like the black one like a little bit more. What do you guys think? I'm not sure if I should keep both of them. So moving on into bottoms, I did pick up three different pairs. This first one, you guys, it is the pleated trouser. And this is my go-to trouser. I absolutely love every single thing about these trousers and how they fit. I mean, this is my third pair, which is absolutely insane. So this is the same style as two of the pleated shorts that I was sharing earlier, just the pant form, right? And remember how I said it comes in a few different fabric options. So this one is more of like that heavier weight wool fabric. So I think that this is going to be a great pair for right now in the springtime, maybe less so for the summer, probably perfect for the office because of the AC, but obviously great for fall and winter too. But it's just a classic iconic pair of trouser in like this beautiful gray color. This one in particular is also in the regular inseam length. They have this in a short inseam length too, but the color selection is very sparse. I think they only have it in three different colors. So this is my second pair in 
the regular inseam length. It is like a smidge too long, but nothing that a little booty or a little kitten heel can't fix, you know? But man, I love the pleats. I love the thick fabric. I love the structure of these and how it fits throughout the leg. Like you honestly cannot beat this. However, a great option for right now is the same pants. So everything that I love about the pleated pant, they have it in a linen option. Oh my god, you are a godsend. I'm obsessed. So obviously perfect for summer to have a more breathable fabric. I should have ironed these out when I was trying them on, but I didn't. Sorry about that. But similar to the last pair, this is the regular inseam, so it is like a smidge long. But this linen, you guys, is absolutely insane. It is so soft on the outside and the inside. It's like that satiny, soft, smooth material to like brush against your skin same as those pleated linen shorts and I forgot to mention this but in the pleated pant the gray ones I go with a double zero on those I find that size to be just like perfection in the pant however in this pant kind of like what I was saying about the shorts when it comes to linen I did have to size up in these to a size zero and just love the way that they fit on all the details about this are exactly the same as the last pair so I'm not gonna repeat that but I will say if you are looking for a linen pant but you you are on a budget then take a look at my most recent Abercrombie haul because I have a excellent linen pant option that is definitely more affordable and then the very last pant that I ended up picking up is another like linen pant option but I wanted one that was like more casual than a trouser I wanted one with a jawstring kind of like that loose flowy look that you can pair with a bandeau top or like a bathing suit underneath that's the vibe I was going for so the fabric of these are out of this world it is similar to the last linen pair but this one is like a little bit thicker of a linen. It still has like that really soft like lining in the inside of it. I was expecting this to be like more high rise though. It definitely sits more mid rise. So I would honestly prefer to size up in this instead of going with a size extra small, get an extra small and then just rely on the jawstring to help tighten in the waist. The length is also a little long so I would have to get them hemmed up especially if I was just gonna wear them like with thong sandals and stuff like how I kind of envisioned it. But apart from that little bit of nitpicking, these are quality. I am beyond impressed with it. I love the material. This is exactly what I was looking for. All right, loves, we made it to the end of the video. If you've made it this far, please make sure that you're giving it a thumbs up. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Aritzia haul and seeing all the pieces that I got for this summertime. I cannot wait for warmer weather. Give it to me now. But if you guys want to shop anything that I mentioned throughout this whole video, just look down in the description. I'll have everything linked down there. My size measurements are also down there as a reference for you guys but before you go please make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on another video of mine ever again and if you're feeling up to it i would love if you would give me a follow over on instagram or tiktok at i am carissa renee i post over there all of the time lots of like mini vlogs or outfit of the days or hauls too content that i know that you guys would absolutely love but anyways i love you guys so very much and i will see you in a couple of days in my next video bye <laughs>